For this nano degree, we'll be using Python 2.7 and a variety of different libraries. Now, I strongly encourage you to use the Anaconda distribution because all of these libraries are included by default and many more. To do this, you click on the Anaconda hyperlink. You'll be taken to continuum.io. You'll need to select your OS. In this case, we'll be using Windows. Then ensure that you select the Python 2.7 version. And when that's complete, select the execut executable installer. Next, agree. Just me. This path looks fine. And ensure that both of these are checked. It'll simplify things greatly. Now next and finish. Let's test to see if it was successful. Type in Anaconda and you should see the prompt. Here we can just type in Python. And now we've entered Python. And we'll import NumPy. Looks like it was successful. Let's look at the version number. NumPy dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore. That looks fine. We'll do the same for the other two libraries, Pandas and Matplotlib. They look fine. Now let's test to see if the Jupyter Notebook was successful. Open a new prompt. Just type in Jupyter Notebook. And you'll see that it has launched in the browser. So it was successful. Now this is how you will install it with just installing Python 2.7 and the library. So select the hyperlink. You'll be brought to python.org slash downloads. Again, 2.7. All right, this path looks good. One thing you do need to change here, I do recommend adding this to your path. It will simplify things. And finish. And in this case, we don't need the sudo because we're in Windows. If you're using a Linux machine, you likely will need that sudo. And let's install. And looks like the, the installation has begun and it was successful. Now let's test the import. So we'll again Python and that will bring us into the Python and now we'll import NumPy and test the version NumPy dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore and 1.12, that looks fine. And the other two libraries look fine as well. And now let's you test the Jupyter Notebook. Type in Jupyter Notebook, and you should see the web browser launch with the Jupyter Notebook. All right, that was successful. One error you might run into is missing Microsoft's Visual C++ 9. So to fix that, you can follow the link in the instructions and download. All right, run the installer. And when that's successful, you can run the installation again. And in this case, it looks like it was resolved.